foundation and then for 11 more dollars you can get those items hmm. it seems like a quite good deal so let's investigate a little bit hello hello beautiful people this is me i'm your host and today i have different kind of video and what i mean by it estee lauder was doing Let's call it some kind of a special and when you buy their double wear foundation you can buy the three other items for eleven dollars eleven dollars it's it's kind of a reasonable price you're getting three items and what are there is their advanced night repair which is a wonderful serum and if you never try it this is a nice introduction introduction intro in, anyway it's a nice thing if you never tried the product and you would like but also because this foundation and by the way this is the double wear which is stay in place makeup you get it one ounce and it says power at no proven 24 hour staying power looks fresh and flawless stays color true feels lightweight and comfortable you won't believe it's long wear transfer resistant lasts through heat and humidity medium to full coverage matte finish won't clog pores all controlling all free fragrance free Whew, that was a lot either way so i used to use this foundation years back and i did enjoy it and let's say if i put this in the morning that's the way how it's gonna stay however because it's mattified it can let's say in a quote dry your skin a little bit so you want to make sure to hydrate your skin later on i'm gonna insert clip of me applying this foundation so you can see it for yourself how it looks but either way because this is long staying and yes for some people it can be too much you can easily mix it with the anr the little brown bottle in that case the foundation is going to have more hydrating properties but anyway this foundation it has many reviews so i'm not going to talk about it too much what are you getting is the anr the small size of the primer the smoother universal perfecting primer and this is half ounce which is 15 ml it's perfect if you never try it or if you are traveling now this is the size which they give you and that's the actual full size which is one ounce so technically you're receiving half yeah half size of the regular one and then they give you this which let's call it makeup tool so we got brush on one end and then sponge on the other but let's see how they they, they call this repair and protect with advanced night repair smooth prime with the smoother universal perfecting primer and then you have perfect and blend with your dual ended foundation brush nice thing about the brush you're getting two things at once or let's say in case if you're always losing your sponges this one is not gonna run away from you now the issue which i have let's say i'm gonna wash it i cannot hang it this way because the water is gonna get through the bristle if i'm gonna go the opposite way yeah if i'm gonna go the opposite way yeah, because it's going to go down the bristle and then in here so it's going to go from here inside i use the sponge to apply my foundation however right now it's submerged in submerged in water so it's, it's a little bit bigger for a face i will say it's a little bit too small and why i'm saying this this is equate i should say walmart brand version of the blending sponge so that's the beauty blender and that's the este one you can see for yourself the size with this it's going to be easy to blend that on your face with this it's a little bit harder because it's way smaller however what you can use this for is to blend underneath the eyes because the size it's perfect but also one thing which i'm kind of worried how sturdy does this thing is because eventually it's going to get rip off so if i can make a little backtrack you buy the foundation then you get chance of buying those items for 11 dollars so let's say even if we're not gonna count the sponge you're gonna get three items for for 11 dollars i would say it's not a bad if you never tried those two items guess what now it's a perfect opportunity plus you're gonna keep yeah you're gonna stay with a brush 
which even if the sponge is gonna fall out, you can still use it because it's smaller, so you can easily keep it in your purse or in your bathroom. But anyway, let me insert a clip of me applying this foundation with this tool. This is my birth face. Besides skincare, I have the Willida Skin Food for dry rub skin on hands, feet, elbows. What is it? It's like a thicker moisturizer with a lot of good ingredients. I do like it because it's one of those things which you want to apply when your skin needs some help. And also because it's heavier, your makeup's gonna go smoother. So either way, so that's the moisturizer and I'm gonna apply the primer. So that's the size which come in the set but also I have the regular one so you can easily see the difference. Since this is still new, I'm gonna go with the one which I have and also you can see the difference which is gonna make on the skin. So I'm gonna apply only on half of my face, okay? I have this on this half of my face, the smoother universe, universal perfecting primer. Okay, now let me apply to the other side as well. So they're gonna be equal. I have the primer all over my face and I don't know how it looks on camera, but when you touch it, it is kind of smooth, meaning hopefully the foundation is gonna glide on it. Let me move to the other item, or I should say the one which we're gonna apply. So that's the foundation. I have it in shade 2N1, which is Desert Beige. And unfortunately, it still comes with a, come on, open up, with a cup, but you can buy bottle to it. So in that case, you can have a squeezy pump. Yep, yep, yep. So that's the color. Oh, so that's the foundation. And I'm gonna apply with the brush which was given. And let me open it up, open it up when the struggle is real. Okay, so you have brush. Thank you both. You have brush on one side and then the sponge on the other. I don't know if I can make it wet, but you know what? For it now, let's see what we can do. Oh, but either way, this foundation been on the market for a long time. It has a cool following for a reason. Why? Because it will stay on your face. It will make your skin look matte. If you apply this product in the morning, it's gonna look the same way in the evening because it will stay on your face. I'm gonna open this one, show you the way how it looks. Come on. Just shake it just in case. Oops, that's the foundation. And yes, it does give coverage, but what I want to do, since we got the ANR, if you think this it's a little bit too much for you, you can add one or two drops of ANR and then you're gonna have that a little bit not sheer coverage. Either way, it's not gonna be so heavy duty. Okay, so I have here one or two drops of ANR, gonna mix with the foundation, and you can see for yourself now. It's gl it glides differently, it glides smoother than the one which I put it at the beginning. And yes, you get that nice hydration from a and &R. Let me clean my hands and I'm gonna apply the foundation on my face. The moment of true, it's about to start. So in this device, you have the brush and you have the sponge. I'm gonna start with the brush. See how it's gonna go. Come on. Here we go. So I have a little bit on the brush and I just start applying it. Come on. I used to use brushes years back, but then the beauty blender coming to market and I kind of stay away from the brushes, but they're still popular. There's nothing wrong with them. And also many makeup artists, they still like to use them. Why? Because when you apply product with the brush, you're gonna smooth it out on your skin. In that case, product's gonna last longer and it's not gonna be absorbed for, by the sponge. And yes, when you use the sponge, you wanna 
emerge in the water. No, X. Either way, you want to make sure the sponge is wet. I have the foundation on this half of my face and I apply with the brush. Let's see how does, what does this thing can do? Okay. When I used to apply foundation with a brush, I afterwards I was, let's say, applying my fingers, or I should say making sure the foundation looks good, so I was using my hands. Maybe this is supposed to do something similar? We should see. That's the foundation on half of my face. Just in case I'm gonna wet this sponge and see if there is gonna be any difference. This sponge grew a little bit, and yes, it is kind of wet, so let's see how we can use this thing up. And also the sponge, it's going to give you that sheer, 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 abs not absorption, but application. So in case if you think you apply it too much, the sponge can make it look more natural. That's how my face look after I use the brush and a sponge. I'm going to apply the foundation on the other half and then I'll be back. This thing, it's kind of small to use on the face. I would say it's better for the concealer, but let me just keep going. Right now I have foundation all over my face and a small rewind. So I use the double wear and that's the way how it looks. Also I use the brush and a sponge, but in case if you don't want that full, full coverage, you can easily mix it with the serum to make it more hydrating. Anyway, let me apply the rest of my face. This is my finished look after I apply the foundation. And what do I have on my face is the Milani All Inclusive. So this is like a palette for your face. Come on, open up. Where are you getting many items? I did a video about it previously so I can easily link it to it. But either way, Going back to the set, in case if you're looking for a good, val good value for your money, the set it's not bad because you do get a couple items, but if you want specific item, that's up to you to the site. However, besides what I was talking about, I have a small giveaway. And what's in there? I have Estelle de Mascara and the lip gloss and why there's here is so many items because here is for one person for the second person and for third one and the little thing it's a nice palette with shades and a blush so in that case you can achieve a nice spring look and the mascara it's sumptuous extreme lash multiplying volume mascara in extreme black so that's the sample which i have so at least i can show you the brush mm -hmm. that's the sample that's the full size so you have one two three and what do you have to do in order to enter just like the video leave me a comment in the description box if you ever use the double wear foundation and what do you think about or is there any other foundation which you are recommending? Anyway, I'm gonna wait for your comments for the next four days and then I'm gonna put you into the raffle and make a video with the winners. So, good luck and I see you next time. Bye!